to be known as a good employee? Like one of the best employees at work? Do you want to be like an inspiration to all your colleagues and friends? Well, you know what? Then I suggest you avoid doing certain things at work. Now, what are these things? What are these behaviors? What are these tips and tricks that you should avoid at work? Well, I'm going to talk about that today. My name is Rima. Welcome to this video. And today we're going to talk about the things that good employees would never do at work because they would actually mean that the employees are not good anymore. Now, the first thing that a good employee absolutely avoids doing at work is gossip. That's right. Gossip is a no-no, my friend. Now, it can be very tempting to discuss others at work. You know, the behavior of colleagues, their habits, their personality, their dress sense, their personal lives. Give your opinions about it. Discuss them with each other. But really speaking, is that necessary? Is it going to create value? Is it going to add to your productivity? Well, the answer is no, and even you know it. So, well, what you must absolutely do is you must avoid gossip at any cost. Gossip is a waste of time. It's not productive. It can lead to a lot of conflict and uncomfortable vibes between people, and it can give people a bad impression of you. Now, if you want to be a good employee, a model employee, what you must do first and foremost is stay away from gossip so that everyone thinks of you as a person who's trustworthy and who doesn't talk about people behind their backs. And I think trust is one of the most important qualities of a good employee. So which is why I repeat, if you want to be known as a good employee, gossip is a no-no. Now this one quality all of us can sometimes end up displaying it and it's called aggression. That's right, aggression. Did that make me look pretty? No, right? So, well, let me tell you, aggression is not pretty, it's not okay, and it doesn't work, especially at a work environment. Now, good employees don't ever lose their cool. They don't get aggressive, they don't have outbursts, and they, don't, they don't blame people and abuse people. They just hear out the matter and they calmly and politely give their opinion. You'll never hear that a good employee has stormed out of a meeting or slammed down the phone. They don't destroy office property. They don't destroy somebody's good name. They don't point fingers. They don't blame others and they never shout and they never abuse. Now, I know that you may not be such an extreme personality. But we must admit that all of us are guilty of at least some of these points at some point in time. Patience is hard work. It takes a lot of practice, but it's still something that matters the most in the end. Mutual respect, dignified conduct will take you a long way and it will brand you as the best employee of your company. So I'm just saying control that aggression, really rein it in and really practice patience, calmness and mutual respect and nothing in this world can ever stop you than being known as the good employee that you want to be known as. So well, we are talking about the things you would like to avoid if you want to be known as a good employee and definitely complaining is one of them. Never complain, just get it out of your system this complaining thing does not work you know what happens when you complain when you complain you actually give out a vibe that you're kind of a weak personality that you have an overly sensitive ego that gets easily hurt now complaining is bad for your health because it creates stress it's bad for your career because you end up creating negativity in your workspace those employees who always command the respect of others never complain, okay? Because complaining just increases the spiral of negativity and spoils the entire work environment. There is absolutely nothing positive that you can gain from complaining. So if you're a chronic complainer, then you will lose the respect of your employees, of your colleagues, of your bosses. And, you know, people may even start avoiding you. 
So each time you receive accolades, it's very good for you. But when you don't receive accolades and praise, you start complaining. Is that fair? I don't think so. There are times then when all of us are given very tough tasks to do, okay, and criticism comes our way. But you have to learn to roll with the punches. You cannot stoop down to complaining because complaining makes you weak. Gratitude and appreciation of your own self and your environment makes you stronger. So avoid complaining. It's of no use. Another thing I want to tell you, do you like selfish people? Well, personally, I don't like them. I'm sure you don't like selfish people also. So if you don't like selfish people, make sure you're not being selfish yourself. That's right. My next point for you is avoid being selfish. Be contributive. Now, good employees actually take on a whole lot of responsibility, okay? They don't just do their job, but they take one for the team. They actually take the complete responsibility of their team and work for the betterment of the company. That's what makes them good employees, you know. So good employees definitely don't act selfish. They contribute in every way they can. Even if it's not their direct responsibility, even if it's not going to give them direct credit. They're just driven by this need to create value in whatever the way they can. They want to utilize the time that they're spending at work to create value and do things that will make them feel good about their work. They don't ever say things like, that's not my job, or I'm sorry, that's not my responsibility. They really work hard, they take responsibility, they're team players, yet at the same time, they have their boundaries. So if they are being unfairly overburdened by work, by other people's work, they stand up for themselves and politely refuse with a smile. But when required, they chip in, they pitch in, and they contribute to their teams. So yes, being selfish, Definitely not going to work for you. Be contributive. The next thing I want to tell you that if you want to be a good employee, then getting defensive is an absolute no-no. Now, it's easy to get defensive and sensitive when you're given some feedback regarding your work or your behavior. And sometimes we end up getting angry or annoyed. But you know what? That does not lead to a resolution of the matter. If you receive some sort of feedback from anybody, your colleagues or your boss, just try to take it constructively. It's not always easy to do so because we all have our egos, big or small, and it's okay. But try to take your time with it. Try to work on the feedback. After a point of time, if you don't think that the feedback was correct in any way and you know, you feel like someone's being unfair to you deliberately. Even then, don't get defensive. Try to make the changes that are being told to you. Try to keep taking action on this feedback. And as time passes, you will see that in some way or the other, you have improved in your work. But even after improvement, if you keep getting the same feedback again and again, then politely put forward your point of view, okay? Humility and hard work should be your motto, not defensiveness and arrogance and anger. Let your work speak for itself, not your justifications. So yes, while I would say that this point is extremely difficult to put into practice, it is also one of the key things that make a person a good worker. Hard work, humility and absolute action is what you're going to go for. So make sure you're not getting defensive anytime soon. I really hope that you've learned what it is that you've got to avoid at your workplace in order to be known as a good employee. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It's time for me, Reema, to sign out, say bye-bye and take care. But before I go, all I'm going to say to you is keep watching, keep learning and subscribe to our channel, Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world.